In this video, I'm going to show you how the MCS players have discovered what the best play in Madden is on the defensive side of the ball and how MCS pros are able to lock up some of the best offenses in the Madden community. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is all about helping you become a better Madden player. And so if you're looking to become a better Madden player, um, go ahead and shoot me a text message and make sure you subscribe to the channel and let me know that you'd like to receive some of our tips and our strategies. Um, my phone number is in the top left hand corner of the screen. And again, for those of you watching, it shows that research has shown that only 60% of you guys that watch this video have actually subscribed to the channel. So make sure to subscribe. That way you get access to the best tips in the community. Okay, guys, so I wanted to talk about really one play in particular and really two, I guess really two plays. The meta in this year's game is 100% shifted. I mean, it started this way, and then there was kind of a shift in the middle of the season. And now it's definitely 100% back. Man coverage. Man coverage is king this year. And so I want to share with you two specific defenses that pro players are using to lock up some of the best offenses in the community. And then I also want to let you know that I actually have a full ebook on this. And I've actually been running this defense the entire season since even Madden 20 back in June. We started putting the pieces together for this defense. So this 335 and 335 wide and nickel normal combination are three are three of the top five formations in the entire game. Um, you also have big nickel for the goal line. You have 4-4, four, four, um, and then all the bear formations from the 46 playbook. So if you want to get my full nickel 335 wide defensive ebook, that link is in the description. And if you want to get a free sample, just shoot me a text message. But anyway, let's dive right in. So first and foremost, you want to set all kinds of different things in your audibles for 335. So you can always have you know, if you need to call cover four or cover three or cover two, you can always do that with this uh, with this defense. Now, the pros don't really run this. They simply run 3-3-5 wide, but they audible into it from 3-3-5. And the reason why is because essentially what you can do, especially in Mutt and in Regs, you can do this with the Green Bay Packers because they have fast enough safeties. You can do this with other teams as well. But basically what you want to do with 3-3-5 three, three, is if you notice here, I've subbed safeties in at all of these linebackers' positions. I've put two linebackers into the defensive line, and then I've got a nose tackle as well. That could be a defensive end. He could, you know, you know, be a fast defensive end and mutt like Montez Sweat or something like that. So anyway, all that to say, now you have essentially eight corners slash safeties on the field two linebackers and one defensive end that's kind of what we're looking to get as far as personnel so we have really really fast players we also have players that will react really really well in zone and man coverages so here's the defenses the first one is mike blitz o um, and i want to show you this literally it's the soup it's the simplest defense you've probably ever seen all you're going to do is you're going to press coverage and then from there you're just going to shade or spread spread your defensive line and crash your defensive line up that's it. That's all you're going to do. And when you face trips tight end, what I like to tell people is if you're facing trips tight end, you want to run down and to the right because you want to kind of try to – and you basically want to try to deter anything quick to the right side because most people that run trips tight end are going to try – if they're going to throw quick, it's most likely going to be to the to the trips um, – or I'm sorry, to the tight end side. There's corner routes that they can run, um, you know, different quick type routes. And, again, you want to run down here long enough so that you can get the pressure, obviously, but – you definitely want to have you know this look right here. So that would be my first tip, literally. And you will see pros do this. John Beast does this. Um, J Wall does this. D -Cro they all do this. Run this defense right here. Now, one little pro tip that I actually like out of Mike Blitz O is let's say that you, if you want to, you can take this safety and then put him in basically in a deep, uh, a deep blue zone. And then from there, you're essentially going to. Um, jump to the running back and then jump back over the middle so you're going to jump to the running back and then you're going to jump back over the middle but now you have a little bit more um protection over the middle of the field if they were to run uh something to that to that player one other thing that i like to tell people is i actually think there makes a lot of sense if you put the 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 strong side safety on this in man coverage on the running back and the reason why basically you flip the safety's man assignments the reason why is let's say that they let's say that they motion somebody here, right? Take a look at what my defense does. You see that they come down, you know, they do this, whatever. But you're going to start on the tight end, and then you can work to all of the other players. So this is a very simple five-man pressure. One last, and there's multiple ways to run this defense. Um, this is just one example. 
Another thing that you could do, and what I probably prefer to do most against trips, not a lot of pro players do this against trip setting, but I like to do this a lot, is I'm going to shift to the running back side, and the snap of the ball I'm just going to run down, and then I can basically um, lurk the running back early and then go to the middle of the field because we know they're going to be running playmakers and post routes and slant routes and things like that. So that's kind of the, the step one. Step two is to run cover two man, and if you look at cover two man here, what you're going to notice is we're going to kind of set it up exactly the same. So we're going to spread our line. We're going to crash them out. Now, this is a, a really, really important adjustment. And what I like to do is I'm going to take this, this lineman right here on the right, and I'm going to put him in man coverage on the running back. From there, all I really have to do um, and it is I will typically roll a coverage. So what that's going to look like is I would put the linebacker on the left in a purple zone. I would put the safety on the right in a purple zone and put those at 25 yards, and then I would put that that uh, safety in a deep a deep uh, like a deep middle zone, just like this right here. This is kind of the coverage because you have press coverage across the board. The other thing you have is you just have good sheds. I mean, you're just the reality is you're gonna get good sheds from this. Now, one other thing that I like to do um, from the cover two man perspective is essentially, you know, what we're looking at is. Let's say you shift your line to the, the strong side. Now, again, same kind of thing. We're going to man that guy up with the with the lineman. And then the next thing we're going to do is this, this linebacker on the left side is kind of our swing defender. We could do a little bit of whatever we want to do with him. And what most people like to do from trips tied in is they like to essentially run inside breaking patterns to the outside player. So what that would look like is some, like a post route or motion over crossing route or something like that. So what I like to do is I'll take this linebacker and I'll literally man him up on Devontae Adams. And then from there, I'll typically take that, that uh, corner that's on that side and put him in a cloud flat. I find this to be one of the most effective coverages in the entire game for this formation. Um, again, if they're running a crossing route, you're going to have to go guard it. Um, you don't have to worry so much about stuff deep on the right side, um, and uh, unless they do some kind of motion over. Like let's say that they, you know, again, if they get if they get you know wise to what you're doing, they may adjust obviously. But like White Tavon Austin on a motion over streak, you see that right there. If I do run the press coverage, that can happen. So to prevent that from happening, what I like to do is I like to trust the man coverage. So if I'm going to run press coverage and I'm going to shade underneath and inside to try to take away the motion slants and things like that, then that's where you're going to see me definitely not be too concerned about the motion slant. And again, you can you can just simply take this. Um, I just really, really like putting that guy in that cloud flat. I think it gets a lot of stuff. Motion over slants, like if they run a motion slant, that, that cloud flat will pick it. So like if I take... Let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I take Tavon Austin and I motion him over on a slant route, right? Obviously, they're going to follow. you got your man coverage. Now, watch what happens here. I don't know if I, I must have not put him on a slant. Let me show that, let me show that one more time. And again, if you want to get this whole defense, the link is in the description um, of the video. It's the best defense in the entire game. But anyways, um, let's take a look at this. So again, I'm going to man up Devontae, and then I'm going to put a cloud flat there. Now, if I put a cloud flat out there... That doesn't mess up the press. That's another reason why I like to do that because then it's not going to mess up the press coverage. I still get nice press jam technique type stuff. But what you'll notice here is let's say that they're running that slant. Take a look. There's nowhere to throw it. There's, there's, It's not open. When you shade underneath and inside, it does a much better job against slant routes. And you're going to find that this cover two man defense is really, really, really good at taking away a lot of what people like to do. So, you know, that's another little thing that you can do. One other last thing that I really do like to run a lot is essentially a cover three style of defense. So what I'll simply do here, um, it's kind of a cover three cloud, especially against trips side in. Against bunch, it might be a little bit different. But against trips, it would be something like this. So we're going to still have everybody manned up, right? The only difference is now we're playing essentially a cover three type of defense. So we have three deep across the board. And then essentially I'm lurking under the middle. So what this is really good for is there's really not a, a route in the game that is going to get open um, like if they motion over and stuff like that. That's what this does is it takes away a lot of the – a lot of people really like motion over uh, post routes, motion over corner routes, motion over something to get really, really good separation. Well, what you'll find with this setup is that takes that away. 
Okay, so this man coverage is really, really good from 3-3-5 and 3-3-5 wide, especially if you have the right personnel on the field. Um, we also have a ton of zone concepts that you can run from this as well, but this man coverage is really, really tough to beat right now. I highly encourage you to check out this defense. Again, they kind of go hand in hand. It's pressure man versus uh, coverage man, but they really work well together and allow you a nice little starting point that then you can adjust as the game goes on. And if you have really good abilities on your corners, like one step ahead or acrobat or deep route KO, this really does help a ton. So. Uh, that's a little bit about what the top, top defense is right now in the community. Um, and again, if you want to get the full scheme and talk to about run defense and all that stuff from this and zone defense and concepts and blitzes and user rushes and all that, go ahead and text me um, for the sample video. My number is 812-216-3644. Um, it's also in the description, but if you want to get the full ebook, that link is in the description of this video for you to be able to pick it up. So thanks for watching today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed talking with you. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys on stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time.